organic, unpredictable, unknown, lovely, beautiful, a sense of fulfillment. This is part of the pleasures of life and not the chores of life. Thanks for tuning in to your Tuesday edition of Daily Iowan TV, your television news, sports, and weather source for the Daily Iowan. I'm Kylie Siebert, here to give you a quick update on what's going on in Iowa City and around the country. The Iowa City City Council met Tuesday evening to take the final vote on changing bar fines. Currently, students under the age of 21 who are caught in a bar after 10 p.m. are paying a significant fine of $500. After student government officials voiced concerns to the City Council about the hefty fines, counselors upheld a proposal to lower the first offense to $300, 500 for the second offense and $625 for the third and subsequent offenses. The new fines will be enforced beginning July 1st, 2011. Well, I'm in favor of it. I think the fine was pretty hefty and you also have to add court costs onto that and if they actually uh, or have an alcohol that'd be another fine so it could get up to a thousand dollars. And for more news from the City Council meeting, check out tomorrow's pages of the Daily Iowan. The National Weather Service issued a heat advisory Tuesday for Iowa City and is expected to last until Wednesday at 7 p.m. The high temperatures combined with high humidity kept many Iowa City residents inside in the air conditioning as temperatures reached at least 95 degrees Tuesday afternoon. But for some University of Iowa workers, air conditioning was not an option. One student who works at the field house explained how they cope with the heat. It's been really hot in here, so we've had, uh, we've had fans We've had plenty of fans and uh, just, just have to deal with it. Despite the heat, the National Weather Service reports cooler temperatures in the 70s by Thursday. And the Iowa City Board of Regents will review the estimated 2-4% to increase in salary for University of Iowa faculty members. UI Faculty Senate member Rich Fumerton said it's difficult to find the balance between allocating funds for faculty salary and tuition hikes. However, he said salary is an important factor in keeping professors at the UI. He also speculated that most of the departments will probably settle for 2% raises given the current state of the economy. And the Iowa Board of Regents will meet in Iowa City on Wednesday at 8.30 a.m. And in Arizona, 2,500 firefighters fought to contain a fast-moving wildfire that has already burned 365 square miles in the eastern portion of the state. 3,000 people have been forced to evacuate their homes, and with strong winds, it looks as if the fire will only keep continuing to spread over the next few days. Tune in to Daily Island TV tomorrow for more updates on the devastating situation in Arizona. And only with Daily Iowan TV can you get a sneak peek into Wednesday's pages of the Daily Iowan. Read about students' reactions to night rides suspending its summer service, and read local legislators' commentary on Senator Hammerling's controversial statement to students. And before I leave you, let's take one last look at your local weather forecast for Wednesday. We will see a high of 94 degrees and a low of 65 degrees. And that's your Tuesday edition of Daily Iowan TV. You can tune in at the same time tomorrow or check us out online at dailyiowan.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.